So I know everybody says that investing in Airbnbs is like the best way to invest in real estate. And I get it. It sounds sexy. Like I almost bought one myself. That was until I continued my research and really started to understand the big risks that come with running short-term rentals. Now, there's a lot of Airbnbs that are not doing so hot right now, despite having higher rents and no long-term tenant issues. But here's the things that a lot of people are not talking about. The first one is we're headed for a recession if we're not already in it. And one of the first things that people cut is their travel, which is like their discretionary spending. If people are not making bookings, you are not making money. Number two, due to COVID, more people were staying local. And now that we can actually travel freely again, people may choose to go elsewhere. They may not stay within their home country. I know I had been itching to get back to Mexico. Number three, the most volatile housing stock is vacation rentals. In a downturn, those are the things that people sell first. And because those are the first things to go and more properties typically come on the market during that time, you have more inventory that pushes prices down. Depending on where you're located, these vacation properties can also sit on the market for a lot longer than regular properties, making them very illiquid, aka harder to get your money back out of. Now, for a long time, Airbnb was like the hot new investment and everybody wanted to jump in. Everybody wanted their piece of the pie. But because of that, so many people jumped in and it oversaturated the market. There's too many. And lastly, number five, Airbnb as a company kind of went to shit. They forgot what their customers actually wanted. They forgot why their customers were coming to them instead of hotels in the first place. Charging me a cleaning fee and making me like separate the garbage and the recycling and do the laundry and sweep the floor before I leave. It's a little ridiculous. I saw this pose this morning and absolutely died because it is so true. It's like no idea why Airbnb's business is suffering. Anyway, last time I stayed at one, I forgot to separate the garbage and recycling and the owner shot me with a bow and arrow. (laughs) Now, I did actually really want an Airbnb property for a long time. I wanted to buy one in a place that was hot so that I could also use it as my personal vacation rental. But I never pulled the trigger because I could not get over the risk and the speculative nature of the asset. AKA, it's kind of like gambling. Making money is great, but not losing money is even better. Now, something that I have always said is if you are looking at short-term rentals, you need to make sure that that short-term rental also works as a long-term rental. This is because travel patterns can change. Short-term rental laws in your area can change. Your building could prohibit Airbnbs. And if you making your payments on your debt, if you making money depends on somebody making those bookings and those bookings are at the mercy of all of these other variables, you better make sure you have multiple ways to bring in cash to cover those liabilities. 